Good morning, everyone. Today's our topic is defect of vision and the types of defect of vision. Generally, this is the most ideal topic for us because it can be for up four marks in your exam, right? So first of all, I'm going to say the definition of defect of vision. What's happening when the defect of vision is happening? As you know, that in our eye, the most important part is eye lens, which just make the image of an object on retina. Just because of that, we can see the object clearly due to the eye lens. But as you know, that if eye lens wants to make a image on retina, its focal length should be changed as per the uh, distance of an object. And for that, the ciliary muscles helps you, right? But when the ciliary muscles can't work properly, then the focal length of eye lens can't be changed as per requirement. And during that time, the defect of vision is occurs. So we can say that when ciliary muscles can't change the focal length of eye lens, when the ciliary muscles can't change the focal length of eye lens as per requirement, the defect of vision is occurs, right? So. For seeing any object clearly, the image should be formed on retina and for that the eye lens change its focal length as per requirement. And for that the ciliary muscles helps it. So when the ciliary muscles can't change the focal length of eye lens, you can say that the defect of vision is occurs. In which there is a three types of defect of vision. One is the nearsightedness, second one is the farsightedness, and the third one is the praise biopia. In which the first one is the Nearsightedness. Generally, these patients can be asked for a format uh, every and each type of defect of vision. Generally, the one type has a format. So, we will study it one by one, right? So, today's the our topic is the nearsightedness. What is the nearsightedness? As its name suggests, it has a defect of vision like you can't see the object which is far from you. Because it is a near sightedness. You have a sight of near. You can see the object which is near to you. But you can't see the object clearly which is far from you. As you know that if you want to see the object which is far from you, the focal length should be high. And for making that focal length high, your lens should be like that. In which the lens should be thin. If the lens is thin, the focal length is the curvature is less. So whenever you want to see the object which is far from you, the focal length should be high. And for making the focal length high, the curvature should be less. And as the curvature less, the lens becomes thin. Right? So in this defect, the eye lens can't become thin as per requirement. In this defect, the eye lens can't become a thin as per requirement. So it can't be a thin. If thin is not happening, right, at here, eyelids can become thin, then how can you see the object which is far from you? If it is not thin, then the focal length can be increased. And if it is not increases, the object can't be seen clearly with that eye because this lens can't become thin. So in here, the lens can't become Thin as per requirement, and just because of that, the light rays which is coming from the object which is far from you just meet before the retina. As you know, that for seeing an object, the image should be formed on the retina. As you know, that when the rays meet at a point, the image is formed at there. At here, what happens? At here, if you think that here it is your eye. So here it is your eye and here it is the lens of eye. Okay? What happens when this lens can't become skin? Object which is far from you, as you know that if the object is far, you have to take the rays which are parallel to each other. So here it is the rays coming from the far object. Right? As you know that due to this lens, it just refracts. And after reflection, they meet 
before retina. Here is retina, the last one, which is retina, while they meet at here. So before retina. If you want to see an object clearly, it should be meet at here, but it can't. It just meet at here, which is before the retina. So you can't see that object clearly. And this type of defect is known as nearsightedness. It's mild defect. It's a myopic. What is the myopic? It's the second name of nearsightedness. The nearsightedness is also known as myopia. The nearsightedness is also known as myopia. So when the eyelids can't become thin as per requirement, the rays coming from the object which is far from you just meet before the retina. You have to remember this. Before the retina can't become thin. And the rays should be coming from the object which is far. Because you can't see the object far in a near sightedness. So the rays should coming from the far object, then you can't see the clear object. In near sightedness, you can't see object which is far from you. You have sight of movement. Right? So when eyelids can't become thin as per requirement, the rays coming from the object which is far from you, just meet before retina. Just because of that, you can't see an object clearly, and this type of defect is known as nearsightedness, which is also known as myopia. There is a two reason for this. This happens due to two reasons. First of all, excessive curvature. The excessive curvature of lens, as you know. It. When the curvature becomes more, as you know that the size of a lens is same. So whenever the curvature becomes higher, this test, so it becomes smaller. As it's smaller, the focal length is less. As you know that the lens is like that. If the curvature increases, so pressure will be applied on it and it becomes like that. The curvature is increasing. And as the curvature increases, the focal length decreases, so you can't see object which is far from it. Understand? So, the excessive curvature of a lens is also one of the reason for it. And the elongation. And the elongation of eyeball. As you know that this is the eyeball. If Eyeball is like that, your lens is good, so image is just formed on it. But what happens if this one is elongated like that? So they will meet before that. If it elongated, right? Joko, lambi ho jati eyeball, tap, badi ho jati, piche se kinch jati. It is called elongation. So when the elongation of eyeball is occurs, Actually, according to the lens, the focal length is good, uh, which is exactly as per requirement, and you may on retina. But, as you know that, the retina just shifts itself, right? So, actually this rays should be made on retina, but retina is not in place. It is just elongated. It just shifts its place, and just because of that, they make before the retina, which is known as myopia, a near sightedness. So, in the near sightedness, it occurs due to two reasons. First of all, excessive curvature of the lens, which is also known as the can't become thin. It can't become thin, it means its curvature is high, it means its focal length is less. The meanings are same that the can't become thin, excessive curvature of So, like that, the defect of vision, which is a myopia, can occur. Now, how can you correct it? You can correct it with the help of concave lens. Which lens? A concave lens. So, you can correct this, uh, correct this near sightedness with the help of concave lens of appropriate focal length. If you put the concave lens at here, As you know that this 
distance is diversion, right? So when the rays are coming from it, due to this, it just diverge like that. And just because of that, they meet on retina. And you can see the object which is far from you are clear. Generally, the person who has during this time means in a classroom, the child has always this type of defect. As that person can't see the object which is far from him. So if you can't see clearly on the board, it means you have a near sightedness. You can't see the object which is far. So if the person is smaller, means if the person is younger, then this type of defect is a corresponding in the eyes of that person. Right? Generally, there is always a nearsightedness in a younger boy or a girl. If the person is elder, then it can be a nearsightedness, farsightedness, or presbytery. But the person is younger, then always there is a nearsightedness. That person can't see the object which is far from them. So they can easily see in a book, a clearly. But whenever they want to see in a board, they can't see because it is far. And they have a nearsightedness. Just because of that, whenever they use the specs, the glasses of the specs is a concave lens. And just because of that, they can see the object or a writing, the, uh, which the things is right on a board, can be, uh, can be seen by them clearly due to that concave lens. So you can say that the nearsightedness can be corrected with the help of a concave lens of a uh, focal. So I am just repeating it. First of all, what is the defect of this one? When the ciliary muscles can't change the focal length of an IS as per requirement, the defect of vision is occurs, in which there is a three types, a nearsightedness, which is also known as myopia, farsightedness, which is also known as hypometropia, and the brace biopia. So first of all, the nearsightedness. When the IS can't become thin as per requirement, so the object which is far from it, the light coming from that object just meet before the retina after reflection from the iris. And just because of that, that person can't see the object which is far from them. And just because of this, you can say that they have a near sightedness, right? Which is also known as myopia. Uh, with this defect, the person can't see the object which is far from him or her, but they can easily see or clearly see the object which is near to them. So in a nearsightedness or myopic eye, with the myopic eye, the person can't see the object which is far from him or her, but that person can easily see the object which is near to them. Right? For correction, you have to use the concave lens of appropriate focal length. The causes means uh, what is the reasons behind the nearsightedness? The first of all is the excessive curvature of an eye lens and the second one is the elongation of eye lens. So here it is our topic a uh, nearsightedness which can be for a 4 marks in your exam. This is the most time we have. So repeat this video uh, to do 3 times and you have to write in your normal a question as a write down uh, what is the defect of vision? Write down or uh, explain the nearsightedness. Right? So like that you have to write a question and then you have to write the answer of A.